All right, guys, welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AD Swords. You guys, two guys will be talking about the AFC region for the World Cup qualifiers, guys. We'll be discussing all about it. We'll be starting with the, we'll be looking through the previous rounds and we'll also be looking at the current round. All right. So, that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So, before we get into the later rounds, let's go ahead and look back on the first round and see what happened. All right. Just for a quick memory check. All right. So, Mongola defeated Bruni 3 2 in aggregate. Excuse me. Mako lost 3 1. At, Sri Lanka won 3 1 in aggregate. Against Maku, they were awarded a 3-0 win in the second leg. Bangladesh won 1-0 against Laos. Malaysia won 12-2 against Timor-Leste. Cambodia won 4-1 against Pakistan. And Guam won 5-1 against Bhutan. All right. So now you can see the groups. They have been made, guys. They were already made. And as you can see, right, guys, in Group A, Syria did top the group with um, 21 points. And did they get to the third round? China also did as well. All right. And you can see right here, Australia got that spot, 24 points. Iraq, Iran, Iraq got qualified with 18 and 17 points. Saudi Arabia qualified with 20 points. Qatar qualified with, uh, well, actually, Qatar obviously already qualified, but they did. Because here's the thing about the World Cup, guys. The World Cup, they also merged the Asian Cup with this. So basically, this is also Asian Cup qualification and the World Cup qualification as well. So. They managed to um, top the group as we expected, and Oman came second with 18 points. All right. Uh, then you could see Japan top the group with 24 points, going perfect. United Arab Emirates came first with 18 points. Vietnam came second with 17 points. South Korea topped the group with 16 points, and Lebanon came second with 10 points. You can see, right, guys, all the they had some of the third place, this, the second place teams go through five of the eight second place teams went through. All right. So you can see, right, guys, that. Um, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kuwait missed out. So now you can get to the groups. And let's go ahead and discuss how the qualification works. So basically, here's how it works, guys. Basically, the top two for each group directly qualifies the World Cup. And then that third place spot plays against the other third place from the other group. And they have like a single game to determine which nation represents Asia in the intercontinental playoffs. They'll be playing against another country, another uh, region, country from another confederation. So it could be. Either it could be um, either the CONCACAF or the CONDABOL. We don't know as of today which one's going to be. We will find that out in a later time. All right. So now with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So every team, play, every nation plays home and away, by the way, round robin style. So let's start with Group A. In my opinion, guys, this is a tough group. This is a well-balanced group, in my opinion. This is a bit more well-balanced compared to Group B, which we'll get onto a little later. Um, and so, yeah, guys, let's start with um, sixth place. So I'm going to go ahead. Normally, you guys know I don't really predict a lot, uh, all the places, but for the purposes of this video, guys, I'm going to be predicting all the places indeed. So 6th to 4th, we're going to be predicting 3rd and 2nd and 1st. So let's start with 6th place in the group. Actually, I'm going to do things a little differently. Normally, I would predict 6th place, but I'm going to do the more obvious ones first, all right? And that is 1st place. 1st place in the group I have, it is South Korea. South Korea, for me, they're top in this group. They have some incredible players indeed. You have the current players of Son Heung Min. You have the player as an Hong Ki Chan. Um, you have Lee Jo Song, Hong Ki Chan. You know, it's a really good team, guys. This this South Korea team is really good, guys. You can see how stacked this team is. Kim Jong Un, Park Ji Sung. You know, it's a really good team, guys. It's a really good team indeed. I'm looking forward to seeing how Song will do for the national team. Hong Ki Chan, Jo Sung Yeon. You know, it's a really good team. You can see right here, guys. That they have a really good team. And you can see right guys in the World Cup appearances. How many World Cups they've been in. Um, they have done very, very well guys. They've done very well. They haven't lost many games. They lo lost to Japan and Mexico on friendlies. Right? And you can see where is the World Cup record. I'm trying to see right here. Where is the World Cup record? The World Cup record as you can see right here guys. Is, it should be here. Where is it? There we go. Found it. Alright. The World Cup record. They have made it to set 10 of the 18 World Cups. Which in my opinion is incredible. They have, they have been very, very consistent in the World Cup, and they have done very, very well indeed, you know, and you can see their best place was uh, 2002. Obviously, I know that was a bit of a controversial World Cup indeed, uh, but still, it's a, still an incredible achievement, you know, and they got to the round of 16 in 2010, so you can see, right, guys, they have shown a lot of potential, a lot of progress indeed. So, in my opinion, guys, I think South Korea will top this group 100%. And you can see they even qualified for the 1954 edition, so they qualified for every single World Cup, since 1986, 2018. So that's a really, really good streak for South Korea there. So I think South Korea will top it for sure. 
Second place, um, I'm not as confident as first, but I still do believe this nation will qualify in second, and that is going to be Iran, guys. Iran, in my opinion, they have a really good team here. You can see right, guys, the World Cup appearances. Let's see how many World Cups they've been in. Um, yeah, World Cups. They have been in five of the 21 World Cups, which is actually pretty solid. They, they've never made it past the group stage. And remember in 2018 how impressive they were. They managed to um, get a... They managed to play really well despite, um, I believe, finishing... Actually, despite not qualifying for the knockout stage. So, it's a really good team indeed, guys. And I'm looking at the players they have at their disposal. You have, obviously, the likes of Horan Hassini. Um, not very much experience. Then you have Hajisti, who's currently injured right now. You can see, I think, right? Yeah, withdrew to, due to injury. Oh, I see. Yeah, he's never mind. Injured. Then you have you know, 17 caps, four goals. Actually, has injured as well. You know, it's a lot of interesting players. You know, you have all Abremi, you know, Karami. You also have, let's see, who else? You know, and some of the well-experienced players they have. Oh, this is the recent call-ups I'm looking at, guys. I'm going to wonder, like, I'm what? No. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong thing, guys. But anyways, I'm back to all the saints. So you can see right, guys, um, some of the key players. The Seder, Asmon. You know, 37 goals and 55 appearances. Then you have Aiki Athens, uh, served. Then Mehed, Mehedi Taremi, a very good player indeed for Porto. Keep an eye upon him. He's doing really well for Porto in the Champions League. Scored a very crucial goal, I believe, against Juventus. Then Jenna Becky, another player to keep an eye on. Probably butchering these names, if I'm being honest with you guys. And then you also have the other players. You know, you have Bermadi, who is who is a really good goalkeeper in the, um, the World Cup, guys. So, yeah, man. Overall, guys, I think Iran's going to take home that second place spot. Indeed, although they did had a rough start to the qualifiers, indeed, because if you didn't, guys, know, and the World Cup of, of qualifiers, they actually, um, no, the second round, they were actually second for most of the group, and they only won the final match day against Iraq, Iraq to secure that top spot. Because if they hadn't won, guys, I don't think they would have qualified to the um on the third round, indeed. So it is interesting to see how they did that, right? You know. So, yeah, man, um, let's move on next to the next nation we have, which is third place. And third place, in my opinion, guys, is going to be United Arab Emirates. I'm really, really impressed with the United Arab Emirates team. They did really well in the last um, nations. I say nations. The last Asian Cup, guys. And you can see, right, guys, the very interesting thing about United Arab Emirates is that all the players they have is all localized. Every single one of the players plays in the, um, the local league, which could be a very, very good advantage to have because you have that synchronous thing. You're all connected. And there's a lot of chemistry there. Chemistry is very important in this sport, guys. You know, you can see right, guys, in um, the re results and fixtures. They have they haven't lost a game in a very long time. You can see right, and their World Cup record is actually pretty good indeed. You know, you know they made it to um, three World Cups, as you can see right here. Actually, this is the uh, part of the United Kingdom, right? Oh, never mind. They've only made it to one World Cup, so it's not that good indeed. Actually, take back what I said. But still, it's a pretty good, respectable thing. And if they could qualify for the next, in this edition, it would be amazing. So I think they'll get the playoff spot. So not quite there. But I think they'll see. One player to keep an eye is Magwood. 76 goals and 92 appearances. Pretty, pretty solid indeed. You also have, let's see, who else? You also have Wabes Abbas, who is the captain of the national team. And then you have Kasif, who is a goalkeeper. Pretty solid goalkeeper. You know. Then Hassan. Then Abarman. Rashid. You know, uh, Babi. It's a very interesting team, guys. Very interesting. Game. Keep an eye upon them, guys. They could, they could cause a surprise or two. And remember, I think they got to the, um, I think they got to the quarterfinals of the Asian Cup. I want to say, like, let me check that real quick. How far did they go in the Asian Cup? Let's go look at that, guys. Just real briefly, indeed. So Asian Cup. Let's see. And I'll also show you guys the 2018 World Cup qualifiers. We'll also look at that briefly as well. So let's look at the group stage real quick. Okay, yeah, they topped the group. Okay. I'm just going to scroll past this briefly. You can see Iran also did top the group ahead of Iraq. It's interesting. Yeah, so they made it. Yeah, they got to the... They actually... Oh, wow. They actually got to the semifinals. And they lost 4-0 to Qatar. I, that makes sense. I remember now, guys. They actually... Yeah, so they lost, They won against Australia 1-0. So interesting there, you know? And then if you look back at the 2018 World Cup qualifiers, you know, Um, let's look at this, guys. So, 2018 FIFA World Cup. 
Asian. So we look at the third round, guys. And they actually did manage to um, get fourth in the group. So you can see Japan, Saudi Arabia. Interesting. You can see a lot of the nations have stayed the same, right? And then you look back in 2014 edition. We'll just look at that real quickly. I'm not going to scroll further than 2014, by the way. That's going to take too much time. But I just want to show you guys this real quickly. So let's look at the third round. Actually, fourth round. And you can see right, guys, that um, United Arab Emirates didn't even make the last round, actually. How far did they go in the third round? So they came bottom the group. So you can see right, guys, it's going to be interesting to see how they do. So, yeah, my own opinion, guys, I think South Korea, I think United Arab Emirates got that third spot. The fourth spot, fourth is kind of tough. I'm going to go with Syria for me, guys. Syria, they were really, really close to making the World Cup last time around, guys, 2018 World Cup. They just about reached there. Um, um, but basically what happened was that they lost to Australia in the playoffs, I believe. You can see right, guys. They had to draw 1-1, and they lost an extra time. And Tim Cahill scored the decisive goal. So you can see right, guys, that Syria is showing a lot of potential. They're showing a lot of progress. And they, in fact, actually did top the group. You can see right, guys, they actually topped the group ahead of, um, where is it? Yeah, they ahead of China, which is actually really respectable indeed. You know, and for me, I think Syria, the problem with Syria is just I don't think they have enough. I just don't think they have enough depth or enough quality in the players to get that top three because I think it's going to be a bit of a stretch. You know, you look at the players, obviously you have Amar Kabam, uh, Nasri, uh, Nekali, Adili, you know, uh, Mohamed, you know. And by the way, guys, I don't think Syria's ever qualified for a World Cup. They've never qualified ever. So it would be a huge, huge accomplishment they can do. And for me, if they could get a playoff spot, that will be very, very much commendable indeed. And so you can see right, guys, a lot of the players are much, very much localized. And indeed, a lot of players are playing the local league. So, you know, it's, it's for Syria to prove us wrong, guys. Can they prove us wrong? And can they do a huge, huge shock and actually make it to the World Cup or at least get to the playoffs, which I think if they could get a playoffs, which would be really big indeed. And remember, guys, Syria will not have will not be playing their games at home because of the political issues going on right now at their own country, I believe. So they're going to be playing their home games at Jordan. That's going to be a huge disadvantage indeed. So, you know, they want to have the um, home advantage to have. So it could be very, very trouble problematic indeed, you know. So let's see how they do. Let's see how they do indeed and whether they'll be able to make the World Cup or not. Time will only tell, all right? All right. So let's move on next to fifth place, and that is going to be, I'm going to go with, it's going to be Iraq. In my opinion, guys, I think for me, Iraq, for me, they have a lot of potential. I like the players that they have. Um, I like Zahri. He was pretty good in the last Asian Cup. And then Muhammad Ali, he was really good in the last Asian Cup. I was really, really impressed with him. Then Ahmad Hussan. Then you also have this player, Ali Adnan. You know, he used to play for Napoli, I believe. He's currently unattached. Then you have Safi Hadi. Then you have Justin Maram. It's a very good crop of players, guys. And I think for me, this Iraq national team, they are something special. The problem with the Iraq, though, and the problem I have with them is just I don't have enough faith, right? And the fact that I just feel like for me, they have often, oftentimes find ways to disappoint. And for me, that second round for me, they really should have actually, when they, they almost just about missed out on getting that um, playoffs, uh, getting to the stage. So, you know, and they were in a really good position atop the group and they lost in the final match day to Iran, you know. And for me, man, it's going to be a very uphill task for Iraq to qualify. You can see their World Cup record. Let's see their World Cup record. Indeed, they have only qualified to one World Cup, which was 1986. So it's been a very long time since they've qualified. And it would be very commendable if they could. Um, I just don't think they have enough in the tank to do it. So prove me wrong, Iraq, and do something crazy, man. Because as I said before, guys, it's going to be very difficult for them to qualify. It's going to be very difficult indeed. So, yeah, I mean, looking back at the 2018 World Cup qualification, let's just look at that again, once again, guys, to see how Iraq did. So you can see, right, guys, the Iraq. And the AFC, let's see. Did they even make the final round? Yeah, they did make the... Oh, yeah, they made the final round with 11 points. Came fifth in the group. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm expecting them to get fifth. Which is which is pretty sad if I'm if I'm being honest, but you know, I, it is what it is, I guess. You know, so let's move on to sixth place, which I have. It is going to be Lebanon for me, guys. Lebanon, we're very very fortunate to have made it to the stage. The fact that they got ten points and just about sneaked through by goal difference. I mean, yes, it's a good team. It's decent. Don't get me wrong, but it's not too too impressive. If I'm being honest with you, their World Cup record 
isn't that great. They never even qualified for a World Cup. And the current squad they have isn't all that impressive, if I'm being honest. Like, I, I just feel as so, though that it's not really that good of a national team, you know, if I'm being honest. Like, you can see right there, guys, Makats Matok is probably one of their best players, doing 21 goals and 93 appearances. You could also see right there that Al Hali, you know, and some of these players don't even have Wikipedia pages, which is also very sad indeed, you know. And so you can see right, guys, that a lot of the players, it, it, it's a decent team, but I don't think they'll do it. Hassan Malhechi, yeah, Mon, Moni is his name, you know. So, yeah, I, I don't think, I think Lebanon's finishing last, if I'm being honest. I think they're finishing last. So that's it for Group A, guys. I want you guys to comment down below your Group A predictions. Now let's move on over to Group B, guys. Group B should be really interesting, guys. And this, in my opinion, is a very interesting group. So we're going to go ahead and once again, guys, do first to sixth. I feel like it's more, um, I feel like it's going to be more dramatic if we do this way. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. So first in the group I have is Japan. For me, guys, Japan is the best nation and the qualifiers. For me, they have done a fantastic job with the team. I've been really, really impressed with the players they have. you got Takumi Minamino. You have, um, you have... You have um, Kamada, who's been really good for Eintracht Frankfurt. You know, I've used him before on FIFA. You know, then you have Kubo, you know, Osaki, you know, then you have Furishi, you know, and you you have so many talented players. Hiroki Sake, you know, you have uh, um, UD. You know, it's a really good team, guys. It's a really good team. And Kaoshima, you know, a really good goalkeeper, man. It's a really good team, guys. This Japan team, I've really, really been impressed with. Um, and I think they're, for me, probably be one of the best nations from Asia, guys. You know, I, I'd say Qatar is probably the best just because they won the Asian Cup, but they're definitely the second best. They're definitely the second best indeed, you know. And for me, remember they sent that B-team squad in the um, uh, uh, Copa America 2019, and they still did relatively well. They still did relatively well indeed. And I just think, for me, this Japan team, there's something very, very special here, me, you know. And, uh, yeah, man, I think Japan, they're going to do it, man. I think they'll do it, and I think they'll top this group. Haraguchi, Minamino. There's a hordes of talents, guys. The, the multitude of talents is insane. And you look at the World Cup record, guys. I believe, let's see how many World Cups they've been in. Let's look at that. I'm not really sure how many they've been in. They've been in six of the 21 World Cups. You can see, right, guys, they have been very, very consistent in the World Cup. They have qualified for every single World Cup ever since 1998, and they have made it the best they have done is a round of 16. And they were really, really so agonizingly close. In the last edition of the World Cup, remember they had a 2-0 lead against Belgium, and we all know what happened. Belgium made that incredible comeback, right? So, yeah, man, for me, guys, I think for me, guys, I think Japan, they'll, they'll top the group. I think they'll directly qualify. Um, and let's see how they do in uh, Qatar, man. Let's see how they do indeed. All right. So let's move on next to the next nation, which we have, which is... Um, second place I have is Australia. Australia for me, guys, I think Australia is getting a second place spot. They've done a very, very good job with their team. I've been really, really impressed with the players I've had. You know, you have Matthew Ryan, who's been a really good goalkeeper for, um, used to play for Brighton now as a real Sociedad. Obviously, you also have the player as an, um, Aaron Moy, you know, could be a really good player. Six goals and 43 appearances. You also have Harris Stridge, one goal and seven appearances. And you can see right, guys, there's a lot of, um, interesting players. You got Tagaret, Duque, Boyle. You know, if you're from Australia, let me know in the comment section below, you know. And so, yeah, man, it's going to be quite interesting to see how they do. And, you know, Ryan Grant, you know, it's a really good team, guys. It's a really good team, indeed. I'm really, really impressed with this team they have. Obviously, there's no Tim Cahill, a very, very um, sad departure, indeed, you know. Um, but, yeah, guys, I, I think they'll do well. I think they'll come second in the group. And I think they'll qualify for the World Cup, guys. And you can see their World Cup record, guys, has been pretty solid indeed, if I'm not mistaken. So, like, let's see the World Cup record, guys. So, what's the World Cup record like? They have made it to five of the 23 World Cups. You can see they've been very consistent from 2006 to 2018. And they even made a um, they even made a uh, round of 16 appearance in the 2006 World Cup, which I thought was very commendable indeed. Right? In 1974, they also did as well. So... You know, overall, guys, have been very, very solid indeed. And remember, guys, they won the 2015 Asian Cup as well. So, very good team, guys. Very, very good team indeed. So, let's move on next to this third-place nation, which I have indeed it is. You can see Australia did come third on the qualifiers, and they did use that playoff to their advantage. So, can they actually qualify by default this time? 
We'll see. And there's interest in that Japan, Saudi Arabia, you know, that three of those nations are still the same. And Iran, South Korea has also stayed the same as well. Um, so yeah, third, in my opinion, I'm going to go with the Saudi Arabia. For me, guys, Saudi Arabia have the third best national team here. I remember, guys, they've been done a very good job. And the World Cup record, remember, I think on their uh, debut, their World Cup debut, they actually made the round of 16, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, their World Cup debut, they made the round of 16, which was incredible. I think they eliminated Belgium, if I'm not mistaken. And from like 1998, 2006, they made it to the group stage. 2018, group stage in Z. So they've been fairly decent in the World Cup, 5 out of 23 appearances, which is pretty commendable indeed. You know, you look at the players they also have. So their um, team, you have Al Hamadan. You know, you also have Moeid. Um, you also obviously have Mar Al Ois. You know. And another cool thing about this uh, Saudi Arabian team is that all the players are localized, and it's indeed, so all the players play for the local league in uh, Saudi Arabia, which could, is a huge, huge advantage to have because with that kind of team, guys, you would expect them to all be chemistry, all the synchronization, and they could work well together. Because I'm telling you right now, guys, chemistry is very, very important in this sport, guys. It's very, very important indeed. So yeah, Otoff, you know, it's a very good team, guys. A very good team indeed. So you look at the results I've had; they've done fairly, fairly well indeed. And they've actually, they haven't even conceded a goal, guys. They haven't conceded a goal this year, guys, which is incredible, guys. So, can they continue their streak? I mean, they'll probably, their streak probably won't continue, but yeah, man, it's a, it's a pretty good team. Indeed. I think Saudi Arabia will get third. Now, moving on to fourth to sixth. This is where things get a bit tricky, ND, guys. I'm going to say fourth. I'm going to give the, I'm going to say, oof, what should I go with fourth, guys? I think I'm going to go with fourth is going to be, um, Vietnam. I'm going to say Vietnam gets fourth. Uh, for me, they've done a very, very good job. And for me, they've done really, really well indeed. The fact that they even managed to get here in the first place is incredible. You know, and you look at the World Cup, you look at the World Cup record, guys. Um, they managed, They have never qualified for the World Cup before. And you look at the fact that this is, I believe this is probably the first time in their history they have managed to actually make to the final rounds of the World Cup. Like, let's see in the description below, right? See, right? So, there's, Yeah, so it doesn't say right here, but I think this might have been one of their best performances to get to the World Cup final stage of the qualifiers, which is really respectable indeed, you know. And they managed to also reach the uh, 2019 AFC Asian Cup, in which they ended up, um, yeah, they met Japan, but failed to continue after their opponent, yeah. Okay, and yeah, they were they got eliminated in the quarterfinals, which is really respectable indeed. You know, quarterfinal for your Vietnam is a very commendable achievement indeed. You know, and I just look at the players they have, and they're just um, players they have to this team. It's a really good team, you know. So you can see, right, guys, they have some really good players. They got Nogon Von Ta. You also have the players in Kerg Nagichi Hai, you know. And once again, guys, almost all of these players play for the Vietnam League and national, uh, play in the Vietnam League. So that could be a huge, huge advantage to them, you know. And then you look at the players like Nogon Ten Il Lin. So. You know, I'm probably butchering a lot of these names, but you can see right, guys, um, it's a really good team. It's really solid. And you know, I think Vietnam, I would love to see them make the playoff spot, but I think that playoff spot might be a bridge too far for them. But I think for I, I think getting to the final stage is already a, a commendable indeed, you know. And then fifth, I'm going to go ahead and say China PR, China People's Republic. You can see right, guys, China did make the, um, um, they made it to the group A. They got fifth in the group with 12 points. You know, and you can see right, guys, the China national team is pretty good. You know, you look at the current squad they have. You have, um, obviously, you have, like, Wui Li, 23 goals and 71 appearances place for Espanol. I believe he actually scored against Barcelona, if I'm not mistaken. So that's very commendable indeed. He's 29 years old. You know, and you can see right there, a lot of the players, once again, guys, a lot of the players play in the Chinese league, and that's also very good. You know, you, you have Zhu Xin, he's never played before. Which is interesting that you have Zhang Zhang, you know, Yoi Dabu, Zhang Limpeng, um, Louis Dazini, you know, Wu Wuxi, Ho Jomin. You know, it's a really good team, guys. Zhu Sin. You know, as I said, I think this is a good team and I think they'll do well. You can see their World Cup record, guys. Let's see how far they've done the World Cups. World Cup. They have never made to, they've actually made it to one World Cup before in their history. Two thousand and two World Cup indeed. 31st and so that's a really commendable there could they actually do it again guys could they actually make a world cup guys very very interesting indeed and you can see right they got to the quarterfinal finish in 2019 so they're they're respectable indeed guys respectable indeed and then finally we have the last nation which i think is finishing bottom and that is oman 
For me, I think Oman's are finishing bottom. You can see right guys the all World Cup record. They have never made to the World Cup before in their history. The Asian Cup, they did reach the round of 16. And you can see the players they have. And it's pretty decent, I guess like you would say. You know, um, you obviously have the players in um, Al-Halui. You know, you have Al-Hadri, Mubili, you know. And you can see where, guys, a lot of the players play in the um, um, Oman League, which I think is very, very important. So you can, um, Yamadi, you know, Busundi, you know. And so it's really interesting. A lot of the players play for Al-Sahib. You can, Al-Sahib, you can see right there, which is interesting. So, yeah, man, I think Oman's going to come six, guys, unfortunately. So those are my World Cup predictions. So let me go ahead and reiterate my predictions again, guys, for you guys. So first in the group, for a group A, I have it is Iran. No, no, South Korea. So South Korea, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Iraq, Syria, Lebanon. Actually, I'm going to go Syria fourth and then Iraq fifth, Lebanon sixth. And then for Group B, I have Japan topping it, Australia second, third Saudi Arabia, fourth Vietnam, fifth China PR, and sixth Oman. So I want you guys to comment down below your uh, 2022 AFC World Cup predictions, guys, for the third round indeed. And I'll also be telling you guys my early prediction for which nation I think will get the playoff spot for fourth round. Just to give early prediction, I might change my mind in the future. So between United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, I'll give the edge to... Mm, this is an interesting one, guys. This is interesting. You know what, guys? You know what? I'm going to go for a shock. Normally, I would say Saudi Arabia. But generally, guys, there's always a different nation. There's always a nation that misses out. And I feel like we could see a different one. So I'm going to say you know, Arab Emirates actually takes that playoff spot. But I could change my mind in the future, guys. So this is just an early prediction. So as of today, guys, my five nations qualifying. The four nations I think qualify from default are Japan, Australia, and Iran, and South Korea. I mean, South Korea and Iran. All right. So I want you guys to comment down below. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys later. Remember, guys, to comment, subscribe. Check out my description below, my Twitter, Discord, and my email. And I'll see you guys later. And if there's any talking points I failed to mention in the video, please let me know in the comment section below as well. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.